hello friends uh, in our today lessons we will try to learn how we can make a line graph you can see on my screen that this is the line graph this is, has a three factors line graph and with one factor is days of co2 emissions we have uh, one day reading four days six day eight day eleven days and fourteen to up to sixty sixty seven days so one factor is the days and second factor is the biochar and no biochar and third factor is the fertilizer type control urea fertilizer cow manure and chicken manure we have applied these four fertilizer with biochar and no biochar and we recorded the co2 emission uh, uh, up to uh, different days uh, up to 67 so this is the main line graph we will see in R how we can make this line graph in R so let's uh, first I show you the data set that uh, can, so we have that data set from which we are going to make this line graph so I show you that so you can see that this is the main while we have days and application dates uh, nitrogen carbon fertilizer type and biochar so this is uh, how my data set is arranged i will share with you that uh, these things uh, wow. i will show you the script of that so this is main data set now we will move to the r uh, so first of all we will make graph in three different step in graph in first first step we will import data file and set and uh, make the adjustment in data files in second set we will adjust uh, x axis and y axis of our graph and in, uh, in third step we will run the uh, graphic no commands so let's start with the uh, first so first of all working directory working directory uh, my videos are available so you can see that how you can make working directory is the relation between our softwares and your computer where your all data file are present so we will make set working directory command then we will have data set that underscore file underscore dot csp so we will import our uh, csv file in r and you can see in window 2 there's 64 observation and seven variables then we'll uh, set uh, our data file to data dot frame so now we will see the structure of our data that is very very important step if your structure is not organized then R could not make graphic so you have to see that what you are now you can say days are in taker replication are in takers date is uh, characters nitrogen is number carbon and fertilizer is the character so your uh, data was set is not properly structured so we will have to first structure our data set so this is our data files and we will convert days as dot numeric so days our i will show you and application as a factor fertilizer as a factor biochar as the factors so we will correct our structure of our data by this one i will share you this script so don't be worried then is the we have to arrange we'll see that fertilizer type so these are for chicken control cow manures and urea fertilizer we want that control should be come first then the urea fertilizer then the chicken manure and cow manure so we will rearrange this by this so we want that the two control should be come first then for urea fertilizer then three is the cow manure and at the end chicken manure so our fertilizer type should be arranged in this way so then we will calculate the means and standard deviations in mean so we have to aggregate functions dot date fertilizer type plus biochar and we fun is the mean and that is the data set of data so we will do that running that commands we will calculate means 
and we have also a separate video how we calculate the means and so you know so standard deviations we will calculate then we want that uh, we have I show you that columns names uh, this is our column names or our mean data set and then uh, is this and now we uh, want that this carbon uh, standard deviation come in the uh, to attach this uh, mean set so we can as uh, c bind is the function in ours and we have the mean uh, underscore that file and we want to uh, attach uh, sda and one to carbon files so we can attach in this way and then this way we have to rename it because when it's attached our mean file now that you can see then that is the standard deviation of carbon file so you will do that and we can also write this so this is the so then we will save this all working and we can load in in next step so in first of our step what we do i repeat we have import uh, our file import uh, we have made working directory then imports data frame and we corrected the structures of our files uh, structures and next we have uh, fertilizer we have rearranged we have rearranged the uh, fertilizer type then we calculate the mean and standard deviation and we attach the standard deviation with the mean file through c bind functions then we re rename that uh, into sc and then we write and then we save the so first step is completed uh, so we will now move to the second step in second step we do very important background workings where we in first time we make a file as dot theme and in theme we correct uh, the x axis tag size uh, 12 x title 18 x title and x title uh, uh, y axis text 18 and x y axis title 18 this should be bold and legends text size we will correct the legend text size legend title so i will share this file with the, this video so don't be worried so we will run that then is the with legend adjustment legend tactics length legend key legend key height legend dot positions plot margins we will adjust we will make a s dot theme to and we will that's we will and then we will remove the backgrounds grids land we want to remove all these things so we will make s dot theme three files so blanks panel grid blanks borders blanks so we can do that then we can uh, correct uh, y labels so in our data cell we only mentioned carbon but expressions co2 emission so here you can correct uh, the your y axis to complete name with units and you can also uh, x axis label and y axis label you can correct here so we will run this file okay and then is the feasible thing feasible thing when third factor we have biochar and no biochar labels so facet wrap we want biochar column should be one labeler is equal to biochar and facet strip we want to text size size is 20 angle 30 and 60 so we will correct our factors over here through facet functions and then we will save the no i will repeat what we did in second step we corrected we make adjusting the taxes sizes of x axis uh, legends things we have corrected legend y axis and text axis size we remove the backgrounds grid line through s dot theme and then we x axis and y axis label we have corrected it here and then we you know, third factor face it things these we have done that 
and then we will save this so we have complete all background work we have imported the file corrected data set structures we have calculated the mean and standard deviation in second step we have a, a second step x axis y axis thing and then the facet things and uh, labels we have x axis and y axis labels now we will so i will uh, clean up all these things uh, so we have as we have seen both sections so we can clean all things so okay all things has clean first step now we can in step three we can load the first session here and we can load the second session part of now this is the graph mean commands for, for which we have to all that working so that's we want this is saving of the files png file plot that is the name of that files we can change it's 1400 width we want to that's 12 uh, 1200 and height 16 so this is the file saving then we want the po2 that's we can give the name of the and ggplot functions we have to mean of our file aesthetic day on x axis carbon on y axis color fertilizer dot type so fertilizer dot chain so we can give shapes to that fertilizers and then is the then is the germ lines so we P2 plus germ line size is one and the uh, black and white backgrounds. Then the germ dot points, uh, so we have that mean files and germs are four. And then we can uh, error bars is y maximum is mean file uh, plus standard deviation and the mean file uh, uh, minus standard deviations so then y label that we have made the y label commands then x label command that is the s1 theme s2 no theme. we have made all then face it and face it dot t that we do in part two with that we do all that working so you have all this working is from previously and scale we can raise uh, 0 to 1.7 how we we can adjust it by summary function we can see the minimum x maximum limit now you can see 1.7 so i have given to 1.7 1. 1.7 1. uh x y axis thing and breaks it so we can give breaks of our own 0. 0.1.7 and 0. 0.5 we can give breaks then scale on axis is way that's a days 1 4 6 8 and 14 days these are our reading days so you can do that so this is the main commands of our plots in first line we keep the mean and our state axis and y axis and fill that colors and then second geom line and in geom point we want and then is the geom error and then is the uh, y label x label s dot theme s dot theme that is the working of our second parts then we have scale on y axis and scale on x axis so we will run that things and we will see that so we can see that graph has okay now you can see that say r has produced that graph co2 emissions on y axis days of co2 that's x axis that's a days on then the biochar and no biochar these are the and this and this are uh, this geom point and geom line graph so in this way you can make a beautiful colorful uh, line graph in r so that's a very easy and just one time you develop that command and you can just change the name of uh, y parameters and you can make similar other graph of your parameters we will uh, share the links of all these things in our video please uh, subscribe our channel for further uh,